hello everyone and welcome in this video we will discuss gas fees on the ethereum network uh, we will also see what the gas is uh, why do we need gas how do we calculate the gas we'll see the formula uh, we will also interact with a few smart contracts on the ethereum network and we will see how the gas is calculated and we will match that with our formula so let's dive in uh, what is the gas itself gas is one of the most important and fundamental aspects of understanding the ethereum network uh, the same way that a car needs gasoline to run the ethereum network uh, needs uh, the gas to operate i mean this is uh, this acts like a fuel uh, to the ethereum network uh, let's continue uh, what the gas is uh, just uh, the same way that uh, the uh, seconds or unit of time and meters or unit of distance the gas by itself is a unit of computation on the ethereum network this explanation is taken from the learnweb3.io if you if you guys want to uh, study it in more details you can uh, go over there uh, so the gas unit is used to measure the amount of computational effort required to execute a transaction on ethereum uh, so basically uh, if somebody wants to execute a transaction on the ethereum network they need to spend uh, some amount of gas they need to pay for that and uh, since each transaction requires some computation resources to execute it requires a fee commonly called gas fees or transaction fees uh, these words are used uh, interchangeably I mean, if someone says gas fee, it's the same as a transaction fee, uh, but usually people use the gas itself. Uh, they don't mean uh, the unit, they mean the gas fee when they are saying gas. So the gas fee uh, is paid in the Ethereum's native currency, the Ether or ETH, uh, however you call it. And how gas fee is calculated, it's slightly different. Uh, 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 I mean, it differs uh, uh, before 25, uh, 25th of August 2021 and after that, uh, they call it pre-London and post-London upgrade. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss the pre-London upgrade, I mean, uh, before 25th of August 2021, but the concept is the same. Uh, we will discuss the post-London upgrade uh, in uh, the upcoming video uh, but you will see that it doesn't uh, differ that much but the uh, post london upgrade offers us uh, better uh, gas cost uh, estimations and uh, a few other benefits so uh, the main thing here is that uh, why do we even need gas uh, why do we even need gas to execute our transaction on the blockchain so the gas fee help uh, help us keep the ethereum network secure how uh, by requiring a fee for every computation executed on the network. Uh, this way the bad actors on the uh, prevented uh, as well as uh, the network is, uh, I mean, uh, the network avoids spamming this way. Uh, let's assume that the transaction uh, fee was not required for executing a transaction on the network. I mean, the gas fee was not required. Uh, everyone will uh, send uh, just uh, useless transactions to the network and this will cause too much uh, load on the network and on the blockchain and they will always spam the network so in order to avoid accidental or malicious infinite loops in smart contracts which would cause all ethereum nodes to forever be stuck gas limits on transactions set a limit on how much computation a transaction can use so let's see uh, all of this stuff uh, in practice uh, let's head over to the ether scan and explore a few transactions uh, let's see this transaction uh, this is a failed one let's pick another one so uh, let's explore this transaction if you come to the bottom here you can click on this link and uh, here are a few things uh, this transaction has status block timestamp we don't need this stuff uh, from a uh, two you can see that it's a transaction of zero ether and the amount of gas fee that it is spent is uh, 15 dollars and 56 cents uh, this is the gas price the gas limit uh, Previously, we spoke about the uh, gas limits, that every transaction have a gas limit. 
why do we uh, even uh, need this gas limit you will see in a bit so we said we uh, avoid all of the these infinite loops malicious or accidentals in our smart contracts so this way by specifying a gas limit uh, let's see uh, what we mean by that let's head over to the uh, remix id remix.ethereum.org here uh, we will write a smart contract that will at the end deploy uh, an infinite loop uh, to the blockchain and see what happens let's name it something like this specify the license and uh, let's specify the version pragma solidity uh, let's specify the 0 0.8.10 I don't know what the latest is in here 0.8.17 let's take the 17 okay uh, so I don't know what's the problem here let's take with 10 uh, let's uh, write a contract called um, I guess let's name it gas as I said before uh, this uh, example and all these uh, notes are taken from the learnweb3.io website uh, if you want to if you want to study in depth you can go over there so here uh, we have created a contract uh, let's name it gas limit or whatever I want to declare a variable in here for example let's name it x give it an access modifier and let's de uh, define a function uh, called jam the network or, or whatever it's a public function and let's write a while loop in here that will take our x and every time uh, that the uh, loop iterates over it uh, we will increase it by one okay so what this does is uh, it will take the current value of the x from the storage of the contract uh, from the storage of the blockchain i guess and uh, it will increase it by one uh, so this will need uh, I mean a lot of computational resources uh, that's why we have a, a gas limit in here and the gas used by the transaction so uh, let's compile this and deploy it let's see what happens uh, we have selected this a smart contract already compiled let's click on the deploy our contract is successfully deployed and if we come over here explore it uh, we have currently uh, the value of zero uh, in our variable called x and just pay attention right here if we click on the uh, function that we defined right here uh, the function that we wrote uh, that uh, that executes a infinite while loop this will execute uh, until the network jams uh, if you click on the jam you can see that the transaction is pending right here and uh, I'm just stuck I can't uh, get out of this uh, browser tab until I close it or uh, I mean do something else this way uh, we have the gas limit just for that to avoid uh, this infinite loops either it's malicious or uh, accidental we uh, are avoiding uh, these type of attacks uh, from the bad actors or from from I mean accidental uh, issues uh, by declaring some gas limit in there uh, it's in the blockchain itself so uh, the next uh, the next topic that we are going to discuss is how do we calculate the gas fees okay the uh, gas uh, prices are denominated in GUE. Uh, GUE and GUE are just denomination or small fractions of the ETH or the Ethereum. One GUE is equal to 0.000. I don't know what how much zero are these. 0.0001 ETH, 
and 1 ETH or ether is equal to 2 to the power of 9 gwe or 1 billion gwe. So uh, the formula, formula that we are going to use uh, to calculate the gas fee is gas fee equals to the amount of gas used times the gas price. This is how we calculate the gas fee. Let's uh, see if we can get the exact amount uh, by using our formula in here. So here we have a few parameters. We need the used gas by the transaction, which is this amount. We should multiply it by the uh, gas price in Kuwait, which is this one. Okay, so we get this number. Now we should convert it to ETH to get the actual price and uh, we have the number currently in GUE. If I want to convert it to ETH or Ether, I should uh, divide it by 1 billion, which uh, returns as uh, this amount 0.0088 Ether. Let's see what the actual price of Ether is on coin, coin market cap so that we can use it in our formula. The actual price is 1770.03. Uh, let's divide, uh, let's multiply this number by 1771. I guess it's right now it's fluctuating really fast. So let's see what we get 15.59. If you see the uh, transaction fee, this is 15.56. Uh, this is because of the fluctuation of the Ethereum's price. Uh, but uh, we can see that we are almost there and we uh, just found that number. If we uh, multiply it by the exact by the exact price of the Ether, 15.59. Uh, so this is the uh, formula that we can use to calculate the exact transaction fee. Uh, one thing uh, I have to mention in here is that these transaction fees, uh, I mean the amount of gas uh, limit and the gas used, this is uh, different uh, for uh, different transactions. For example, if we see another transaction like this one, uh, let's see what it is. You can see that uh, it costs much more than the previous one that we saw. Yeah, the transaction fee, it's, it's a bit lower, I guess, because it is uh, just uh, uh, ETH transfer uh, between two accounts. And uh, I guess the uh, most expensive one is minting NFT, sending NFTs, uh, sending ERC20 tokens and uh, swapping tokens uh, this stuff uh, costs much higher gas than sending simple ETH between accounts so uh, that's it for this video uh, i'll see you guys in the next one have a good day